What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here and today we're going into episode 3 on how to import custom resources and assets. Now you probably bought Visual Novel Maker and say you're a good color, good color, oh my goodness, starting the video off like crazy. Say you're a good uh, drawer and you draw amazing busts or amazing characters and you just got the Visual Novel Maker for the the lack of having to program the engine and for the features and you just want to use your own character art or you want to mix it up you know we're going to get into that in this episode right here so using sharam's character bus i, I apologize if i'm butchering your name but i think it's sharam or sharam's this is for demonstration purposes but if you go on to the visual novel maker forms here sharam has uploaded some character bus which i've already uh saved and downloaded that you can use commercially or just for fan projects but you know commercially so this is some key stuff here so for demonstration purposes these are the assets and resources i'm going to use and show you how to get into the engine so instead of me blabbering on let's get right into it here so we're going to go into our for youtube if you watched episode two and been following along in the tutorial series you should have this and we're going to go into the creating life project that we've made and we're going to say hello to cloud where he says what's up youtube anyway so into this we're going to go into the import resource manager folder and i'm going to import to show you guys how to import the music or sounds first and then we're going to get into the resource assets so if you're like me and you have other songs like uh if you own rpg maker mv or any or any uh, mv resources you can use the songs or any assets from rpg maker mv into visual novel maker because there is a collaboration going on so you can go with both and vice versa if you want to take the visual novel maker assets into rpg maker mv you can and the same thing with rpg maker mv into visual novel maker or the older rpgs as long as you have both systems you can do this and anyway i do own both and we're gonna get into it right here so let's go so i uploaded my gentle breeze which you can get from a, a resource of rpg maker mv and now you're probably wondering okay we uploaded it how do we listen to it because you can't listen to it into the resource manager so we're going to close the program we're going to go open to the music player and now a gentle breeze popped up so let's give it a little play but let's turn it down so we don't blow your eardrums turn down a little bit more we can change the tempo my phone's going off apologize and then you go up I'm gonna stop that and that's how you import music into the visual novel maker of other custom resources or assets and if you are a music maker yourself and using fruity loops you can make ogg files and you know therefore you guys already know what to do and import it that way now to upload the characters you can see we have the characters here so we're going to import our resource here we got a bunch of characters i like i like this guy we're going to go with him but you could go with whoever you'd like for the for the tutorial purposes and so now we have our character inside so now you're probably wondering okay we imported the asset i could do that cloud that's not why i'm watching this video well baby steps let's get right into it um we're gonna go into the collections folder here now don't get confused this is how we create the assets so you can see how the names the narrator we have cloud who we changed which was ace i believe so we're gonna click a new record and we're gonna give this new record a name we're gonna call it ryan okay so now we have a new record of Ryan. So now we're going to go to character expressions and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to give the folder a name. We're going to call the folder Ryan or you can call it whatever you'd like. And then inside the Ryan folder, we're going to create a new record and inside the new record, we're going to call this normal and inside the normal, <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep talking like that, but inside that we're going to click add. And after we click add, we're going to go to our resource that we've uploaded. So now we have a normal expression for Ryan. So we're going to click save. So that way it saves it. And we're going to go back to our characters. Make sure you do this or it will not work. And we have to set his default expression. So his default expression, which from Ryan, is going to be his normal look. So now we're going to save it again so it can come through. And now we've taken care of the process of uploading, I mean, importing a custom resource or asset, music and uh, character 
We've created Ryan, we gave Ryan an expression, and then we gave him his default expression, so when you put him into the engine. So now we're going back to the scene maker where you created life in from episode two. And we're gonna say hello to Cloud. Remember Cloud that we created? So we're gonna left click on Cloud, Just to, this is for demonstration purposes. We're gonna import Ryan, and there we go. And that is, guys, that is how you import custom resources, music, and assets. And that is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on more tutorials and on anything else, Night Villain Entertainment. I'm Cloud Knight. I love you guys. God bless and peace.